You guys remember this video that I made over a year ago? Yeah, well, basically this is part two of it, sort of, because it's a different person, but the tactics is similar. Hey, if this video does well, maybe I'll turn this into a series where I troll these idiot scammers, so I don't know, let's try and get 20 likes and I'll do part three. Okay, so this all started on Instagram. This person called Malia underscore VTuber just randomly appears in my DMs, which is what most of these scammers do. Okay, if you guys don't know these scammers, they like to just appear in your DMs randomly, whether it's Twitter, Instagram, or Discord, and then say shit like, hey, are you a streamer, blah, 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 making you think that this is someone who is interested in your content, only for them to then say, oh, I'm actually a GFX artist, a content promoter, blah, blah, blah. There's so many job scopes that these scammers have, so be careful of this. Prime example like this one I'm showing you right now. After randomly popping in my DM asking me which hours of the day I stream and how are my streams going, I decided to ask a simple question, which is, are you a fan? Because you just pop into my DMs from out of nowhere. Now, keep in mind that I already knew that this idiot was a scammer. So my choice was either A, just block the account or B, let's have a bit of fun. And with this video out, I'm sure you know which choice I made. Anyways, this question prompts Malia to reply with this. Basically what I just said earlier, trying to bait you with the hey, how streaming, and then revealing that she's actually a GFX artist trying to get customers. By the way, I don't know if Malia is a she or a he or an it. And to be honest, I don't really care because all I see is her being a damn scammer. So for those who actually cares about what pronouns Malia is, well, you can go and take this middle finger and stick it straight up your candy ass. I stole that one from The Rock. So I went to her profile and saw her work based off her posts. And I also saw her bio, which stated professional in logos, banners, emotes, overlays, and animations, transforming channels with captivating designs, devoted to client satisfaction. Now, I don't know about that last one, to be honest. So I decided to start trolling and ask how much do you charge? Might be interested if the price is right, which she replied with, thanks. Well, my dear friend, the prices depends on what you want. Can I know what you're looking for? Okay, first of all, we ain't friends yet. So the fact that Malia calls me a friend within a few minutes of talking makes me wonder how many friends she actually has in real life. So I decided to ask for a gaming screen overlay while also asking her to check out my Twitch to help me see what I actually need. Cause you know, she's the professional here. Speaking of checking out my Twitch, y'all should really do that. I stream on most days after I get home from work. And since I'm getting a new gaming PC soon, I'll be able to stream whatever games you guys want me to. So yeah, go check it out. Link is in the description. So after checking out my Twitch, she said that she has a complete package and asked if she could show it to me. Wow, removing the word overlay from that sentence really does change the whole context. So after brainstorming a few ideas, she told me that she's got an idea and that I will be surprised by her work, but theme overlays is a little bit expensive. But since I earn as much as what Elon Musk earns, I told her to just name the price. I also told her to add me on Discord because I don't really get on Instagram too much. She went on and replied saying that usually she charges this kind of work for 150 US dollars, but since she is running a discount, the price has dropped to 120 US dollars. Here's another tip for you guys. These scammers will always say that they are running a discount to lure their victims, so be careful of that and try not to get tempted after seeing the word discount. She then proceeds to explain to me as to why it's costing 120 US dollars, even though I didn't ask her about it. She also said that she has a payment policy. Note that she said I and not any pronouns that would refer to anyone else. So with this payment policy, basically I just have to make a down payment in order for her to start the work and then the remaining amount from when I approve of this work. So by reading this, you would think that, oh, so I would just have to pay a certain sum amount of the whole cost and once she finishes everything and I approve it, that's when I'll pay everything, right? Well, not really, but we'll come back to this later. So we then move on to Discord where she instantly asks if I'm okay with the price. Oh, Malia, you have got to work on that social skills. So out of curiosity, I decided to ask her how many items I'm getting. To which she replied, you mean how many changes you will get? At this point, I was already confused to what she meant by changes, so I just answered yes. Then she went on to say, I will give you three changes, which I thought that she meant about the gaming screen overlay, because that's what I originally asked for. But then she said this, which made me more confused because on the list, it said that the overlay includes a header, a cam screen, four alerts, four slash six panels, and three screens, which is starting soon, intermission, and ending. A welcome to my channel screen and a background. So am I getting everything that you just listed times three? Or when you said three changes, you were referring to the three screens, which is starting soon, intermission, and ending screens. See, for someone that claims later on that she's from Canada, 
Her English is really bad. Now, if I were to say no to that, the video would have ended here because then she would have just stopped talking to me and pretty much go ahead and find someone else to scam. So for the sake of content, I was willing to gamble a little bit of my money. I told her that this is my first time ever doing this and because she appeared out of nowhere, no, we're not going to do the RKO meme again. I didn't know if I could fully trust her. So I offered to pay her $20 first. Then once she showed me pictures of progress of the work, I'll pay another $40. And then once everything is complete, I'll pay the remaining $60. Now do note that this is in US dollars. So if you were to convert it into my currency, it will be this amount. Anyways, in reply to my offer, she decided to ask if she could show some review of her past customers. Again, guys, this is another scam tactic. This is my first time. So for all I know, she could have just screenshot someone else's profile on Fiverr or whatever platform she uses and just show me that as a proof that she is quote unquote legit. So just a tip, unless you guys are chatting with someone from the official site like Amazon or Fiverr, and even then they could still use bots to pretend as a customer and give them a five star reviews. Trust me, I've seen a few of these. So yeah, unless it's from the official site, it's likely that they are scammers. Oh, and uh, just an update. She never showed me the customer reviews at all, which at the time I never really noticed. So after once again telling her my offer, she said that her offer was $40 to complete the full work and show it to me on time. And then the other $80 after I approve her work. I decided to give her my offer again, saying that, you know, with all due respect, I am the one who's paying for proofs here, so in case this is a scam, either way you will get your money. This is already a red flag because all I'm asking is for her to take pictures of proofs from her phone, not even screenshots from her PC, which totally means that I can't just steal the work from her at all because the picture will be less of a quality compared to the screenshots from her PC. I'm the customer here and yet I have to prove to her that I'm not the scammer. What? So after confirming the payment and details, I paid her 20 US dollars and then she said this which is pretty much what we've already agreed on. I don't know why she is like repeating shit as if to assure me that, hey, we agreed on this. <laughs> I then asked her for her Twitch because, well, her name has VTuber in it, so I would assume that she either streams or make content somewhere, right? Yeah, well, she doesn't. And when I asked if that was her in the profile picture, well, she pretty much just said that she stole that picture from Google. So uh, does anybody know who that is from the picture? I'm asking for a friend. Anyways, after a few hours, she got back to me with the work that she would quote unquote surprise me with. Okay, first of all, what the hell is that English? Do y'all see this rubbish that I'm reading? That's what I am asking you that do you want changes in the shape or in the color? What changes are you asking for, my dear? What? And I'm not gonna lie, this is ass. For $120 in total that I would have to pay later on, this is ridiculous. I could literally go on Fiverr and get this shit for $10. Hell, even I can make this ridiculous piece of trash. I say that with confidence because I've done it before. So after telling her that I'm not vibing to these, she then proceeded to tell me that the color theme can be changed and it's not animated yet. She then decided to show me an animated version that she has designed for another client of hers. Wait, so you're telling me that this is just a copy and paste? That it's just another person's product and that she just changed the colors and adds my character to it? What kind of bullshit is this? $120 and she's not even putting any effort to make a new design or anything. Straight up just copy and paste from a previous customer and had the guts to tell me that I'll be surprised by her work. Oh yeah, I'm surprised alright? Surprised at what kind of a lazy person you are and what kind of bullshit you're actually showing people and charging them for a lot of money. I decided to call her out on the bullshit and with no hesitation, she already has a reply for it. <laughs> Saying that she was showing me that as a reference. Well, if this was just a reference for the animation, why the hell are we using the same design in the first place? So at this point I was like, hey, you know what, let's give her some time to see what she can really come up with. So I made up some shit saying that I will only receive my pay at the end of the month so she can take her time, which prompts her to ask me if I'm going to pay her the other $40 right now. I straight up told her that she hasn't even shown me what it's supposed to look like yet, which prompts her to reply me with this. These scammers are so good at manipulating their words that even I got tired to argue at this point. So in the end, she asked me if she should design another one with different screens and different designs according to my color theme, which she should have done that in the first place. Like, if she had done that in the beginning, I would have already paid her half of it and we can get on with the rest of it. We ended off the conversation with her saying that this time, you'll love it. Yeah, we'll see about that. So, two days have passed and Malia hit me in the DM saying, here you go with the surprise. Please share your review. I hope you like it now. Wait, <laughs> hold on a second. You're telling me that it took you two days to come up with this. Two days. And all she did was change the shape? Bro, I'm gonna be honest. If I were to call Nari, 
Yes, my good friend Nari, who bought me Pal World and is also my sugar daddy on a few occasions. If I were to call her right now, saying that I need a new Twitch overlay, she would have made 100 times better overlay compared to this piece of trash and would have charged me like less than half of what I'm paying this scammer. Well, probably it will be for free because we're friends, but if you were to be a customer and ask Nari for an overlay, I can guarantee you that it will be so much better and cheaper than most of these fake ass GFX artists are offering out there. Which by the way, go check her out. She's such a lovely person, I'm sure you'll fall in love with her content. So I basically told Malia the truth, saying that it's basic for $120. She told me a bunch more bullshit and saying, I hope you got me now. No, Malia, I don't got you. The only thing that I'm getting from you is the fact that you're already a proven scammer and a lazy one too. Anyways, I told her to make the main screen smaller because I like to show my appreciations from my viewers at the bottom and I even showed her what my current layout looks like. I once again told her to take her time, this time saying that I'll pay her in 5 days time. Look, I don't know if she's dumb or stupid, probably both, but she literally repeated what I just said but in a question. What? I told her that I also want the logos like the screenshot of my layout that I showed her and she said that only after I pay her the $40, that's when she'll do it. If this doesn't scream the word scammer, I don't know what does. I then decided to renegotiate our terms saying that she will have to deliver me the files when it's done before I pay her the full amount remaining. Let's just say that did not go well. Can we get a quick translator for this? Because I'm pretty sure nobody's able to understand what the hell she's trying to say here. No, my dear, that's not the deal. I first, you will clear the remaining, then I will send you the final files. That's what we talked about before. She followed up by saying that she will show me the preview work and that when I approve of it and clear the remaining sum, that's when she will email the files to me. Now, at this point, I got tired of her bullshit and I wasn't going to pay any more than I already have. So I just said, we'll discuss this when the time comes because I really don't think that I should give the money first without receiving the product. Now, before any of you come at me with, oh, but if you do online shopping, you pay first before receiving the item. Yes, you are correct about that, but they also have a refund policy where if your item arrives and it's damaged or missing, you can ask for a refund. But with this kind of scammers, you are paying them and not on like a website like Amazon or eBay. So most of these idiots don't have a refund policy. But thank God this idiot slip up when it comes to payment. I'll get into this in a bit. So after a bit of back and forth regarding the payment, she replied with this. Notice how there's three question marks right after got it? Yeah, you can tell that this dummy is getting impatient. Again, another tip guys. If the seller is getting impatient, whether it's about payment or whatever, it's usually a sign that they are a scammer. Now, if you are the one who has dumb questions that has no relation at all to the product, then of course, they have a right to be impatient. But if you are inquiring them or discussing about the product and they get impatient, then that's a sign to stop dealing with them. Remember guys, customer is always right. Except for Karens. Y'all can just dig a hole 6 feet deep or 60 if you're obese. She then proceeds to remind me that it's her policy. Remember, hers and not anyone else's policy. I pretty much at this point threaten her that if anything happens, I'll report her instantly. To which I reply with, sure, you can be satisfied with that. I'm okay with it. You can stream that. Whoa, 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 Malia. Talking about growing a pair, huh? So our conversation ended at 3 a.m. that day. And then I decided to ask her for updates at 10 p.m. that night. That is 19 hours after our conversation ended. Surely she has done quite a bit for my overlay, right? Well, two days later, yes, two fucking days later, she replied with going good, you will get the surprise. But it wasn't even until the following day that she sent me the update. And let me just say right now, three fucking days for this. What? Three days just to put four small logos. Bro, I don't know about you guys, but the word professional has been thrown out of the window at this point. This is an amateur working here. At this point, I was just trying to piss her off, saying that I don't want partners, it's supposed to be bits, can you remove the words, just have the logo on the left side, can the mainstream not have that weird border on the top, it's gonna block a little bit of the gameplay. But to my surprise, she actually answered this very calmly, saying she'll do it no worries and asking if I want the whole border removed or just the top. I then told her to just use my current layout as an inspiration. Yes, I have to tell her, the professional GFX artist, to use my layout as inspiration. Now, do know that my current layout is totally free. I got it off a website and it looks like this, which is like compared to hers, it looks like I paid more for my current layout 
and looks like it was made by a real professional. She then proceeded to tell me that she will only do the changes after I pay her the $40 up front because she has done too many changes. I'm sorry, what changes? What changes is too many here? Oh, you mean the change of shapes or just putting four goddamn logos, which would have taken me no more than 30 minutes, by the way, but it took her three days? Saying that it will be a big difficulty in her job to do the changes without the complete upfront. I hope you can see that I am working on your overlay. I am not scamming you. Bullshit. The only thing I can see right now is how lazy of a person you are and that you keep on changing our deal. Remember guys, the deal was for her to do all these changes. Then once I agree on it, I'll pay her the toll up front and she'll work on the animation afterwards. So here's what I think is going on at this point. This idiot scammer has a few layouts made ready, which I don't even think she made those in the first place. And they are using these layouts to show you their first signs of work. And then they use the second layout to show you that they made changes to the first layout. And just in case you ask for what I did, which is logos, they also have that prepared. But now that I've asked for more, they're going to say that they won't do it unless I have paid the full upfront. So once I do that, they will run off with that 60 US dollars just like that. That is what I truly believe on what's going on in the situation. I told her that it looks bland at the moment and even asked her to just snap pictures from a phone and send it in the chat so that way I know it's a work in progress. I need to know what the screen looks like before the animation, then I can pay the $40. Because Malia, that is what we agreed on in the first place. Then she went on to say that it's not completed yet because it's not animated and doesn't have my character on it. To which I reply, once you have altered the normal screens again, we can make more progress. She kept on answering questions that I asked in questions of her own to make it look like she's dumb or something? I don't know why, but I'm pretty sure that I typed in the best English that I possibly could to make her understand. I then explained to her once again as to why I would suggest her to take a photo from a phone so that the pictures are blurry, therefore I can't just steal her work. Again guys, I'm the customer here and I have to make sure that she feels like she's not being scammed. Now from here on out is where things goes downhill. I told her that I feel it would be more easier if we just got into a voice chat or something and then she replied to a previous statement of mine saying that she will make a video of her working on my overlay but she will not be showing her face or sending her voice. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we got her. That statement right there just proves to us 100% that this piece of trash is a goddamn scammer. So I told her that she can just mute her mic and I can talk the whole time so that she can understand what I need. But she told me to just send her a voice note, which I replied by saying that it will be easier to call because I'll be able to share my screen and tell her what I need in real time. And I even asked her why she's scared of talking. It's not like I will judge her or anything. And who knows, we can be friends friends after this and do more deals or I can even promote her on my channel. She decided to reply with, okay, now just listen to me for 5 minutes, just listen. Oh boy, Malia's angry, oh dear god, save me from this monster that's about to be unleashed. She then wrote a long ass tag saying that firstly, according to the agreement message, I was just supposed to show you your overlay with the name of your watermark and then you were supposed to pay the remaining upfront and then your remaining work was gonna start. I like how she used this as the beginning statement of her argument because not only only we agreed on her to do something new that has not been done before, but we also agreed that the work for animation and character will be started after I paid her the $40. Which means that any changes that I want besides animation and my character should be able to be altered according to what I want before I pay her the $40. So she's already lost a point on that one. Next she said that I have done so many changes for you and I'm not refusing to do more changes, but I cannot do it without the complete upfront. Which again is total bullshit because one, all she did was change the shape of the design and added four logos to it. And and two, the first design was sent to me on 11th of January. The second design where she changed the shape was sent on 14th of January. And lastly, the design where she added the four damn logos was sent on 17th of January. So in total, this took her six damn days to just alter the shapes and add in four logos. Call me crazy, but to have six days for her to only change a few things and for her to call it a lot. Yeah, that's some next level lazy ass I see right here, just spitting nothing but bullshit out of her mouth. She then repeated what she said earlier about not being able to come on call, which is dumb to be honest. And lastly, she said that she will do all the changes that I asked for, but only after I pay her $40, which again is bullshit considering the agreement that we had to begin with. So ignoring that long ass text, I just decided to ask where she's from and she said Canada. <laughs> Canada, huh? So I searched up Canada's first language and it's 76% English while 22% French. Now, fair play to her if she's one of those 22% or if she just moved into Canada recently from another country, but I highly doubt so. So 
So I asked her if there's any reason as to why she can't come on call. And then she replied with, I just don't like calls. Also, it's against the policy of my company where I work. And boom. Remember when I said that she referred to her policy? Yeah. So where the hell did this company come from? You're telling me right now that she has a company policy this whole damn time, but only decided to use it in our conversation at a time where I asked her if we could be in a call? How convenient. Yeah, so at this point, I figured that I've already got my content, so let's just end it. So I decided to try and see if I could get my money back and calling this a scam. She said, no worries. If you think that this is a scam, I'm sending your money back. What, just like that? I asked what the company is called, to which this idiot replied with, why do you want to know now that I'm sending you back your money? So I said that I wanted to check if the company's legit and also if it's not a scamming company it will be okay for someone to ask for the name no then she said that i have wasted enough of her time and energy that she has put into my work oh yeah you definitely wasted a 30 minutes of work in the span of six days didn't you also saying that if she was a scammer she wouldn't be sending my money back uh yeah i'll believe it when i see it she then said that she'll be sending my money but only the amount that she has received and not the tax amount that has been deducted which remember when i said earlier that this idiot slip up when it comes to payment so the payment that i made to her was on paypal and they have a refund policy which i brought up in the chat which she immediately shut down the idea of it boom baby another proof that this idiot is a scammer so i told her that it's easier to just do a refund on paypal which she said that she would screenshot it i then asked for the name of the company again which she replied so defensively what are you gonna do with my company name a person who is not believing the artist even after seeing his work in progress wait malia you're a dude so this whole time i referred him as a she and only now i found out that it's a he oh man i'm gonna get cancelled anyways she said that i won't believe the company after seeing it which i then confronted with saying all this like seriously most of these gfx artists work for themselves and i'm pretty sure if they do work in a company they would have the company's name ready to tell you because most of these workers if they do have a company what are the things they would do if they ever run into a customer like me for example they would always say sir if you're not happy you can contact the customer service and then they would tell you the number and the name of the company but keeping the company's name a secret and saying that i won't believe it even when she tells me the name of the company just shows that she actually doesn't work for one to begin with so i went ahead and asked when will she send me the money because if not i will ask for a refund which she replied saying within the next 24 hours uh yeah not on my watch bitch so after a few back and forth she told me to wait some time until the manager is here and i asked why manager didn't i send the money to her account unless you're telling me this rosy nuz is your manager oh it is um anyways first of all after what has happened we ain't friends well we were never friends to begin with secondly i still want that company name and third i'm not gonna wait for that payment because i'm pretty sure it's a scam so i'm gonna request it now so as you can see right here malia is trying her best to ask me not to refund the money i think there's a certain period of time before the money you send through paypal becomes non-refundable i'm not sure to be honest but it's obviously a scam now because she clearly isn't returning my money at all so i just told her that i gotta warn people now about this weird policy that y'all have like what kind of a bad customer service this is so i ended up requesting a refund and sent a screenshot to her saying that she should tell her manager to accept it and she clearly got scared here for some reason because oh coincidentally now she's able to send the payment within five to ten minutes wow i guess her manager is here now guys yeah so she asked me to remove the refund request which i did not at all but i pretended to do so and gave her the 10 minutes that she asked for so after counting down the minutes in the chat i finally received my refund now i'm not gonna lie i was actually surprised that i got my refund i guess paypal did me a good one for this time so as you can see she was clearly pissed after this and that was the end of the conversation well at least i thought it was remember this video i posted the other day yeah well i posted it on my instagram story and look who replied to it i'm gonna be honest guys if she didn't dm me at all i wouldn't have made this video because even though I did want to make this video as soon as our conversation ended the first time, I didn't really have the time to start making a script for this video, and I know it would take me a few days or weeks to actually complete this whole video, but thanks to her actually DMing me just over a week ago, that motivated me to expose her scumbag scammer ass online and, well, just to let y'all see, this is the whole script for the goddamn video. Also, I just realized one more thing, and that is the fact that she actually sent me the work here, and it's technically for free since I got my money back. It's trash, but hey, it's free. Free, right? Malia, 
I just want to say right now. Scammer got scammed, bitch. <laughs> Anyways, this is the final part to it. I hope this has sort of been a lesson in a way to you guys about these GFX scammers. Just remember that 90% of the people who instantly DMs you out of nowhere asking about your streams and whatnot, they're usually about to introduce themselves as a promoter or GFX artist, aka scammers. Also, beware of their tactics as well with the way they talk, the discounts they offer, and also how much it costs. Ask them as many questions as you want, especially in regards to their company if they work for any, their payment policy, and make sure you got their details right. Now, there are a lot of websites out there that has tons of overlays ready for you to use. Some are free, some are not, but I can guarantee you guys that it looks way more professional than these scammers do. Now, I personally cannot suggest you guys the websites because I personally am still looking for one on my own. I mean, I could just ask Nari for one, but I don't want to bother her with it unless... Nari? Can I get some overlay, please? <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. But hey, if you are an actual GFX artist watching this video, share your thoughts below. Did I get the things right or wrong in certain parts? Or if you want to collab and make some overlays for me, hit me up on Discord. For the right price, I am willing to pay for some beautiful overlays. Anyways, that's it guys for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. This took me a while to edit and write down the whole script, so I would appreciate it if you guys drop a like, comment down below on your thoughts about the video, and share it around. We're trying to hit 10k subs, so your help is greatly appreciated. I love you guys and stay safe, everyone.